Guys, we got a good fish. This one was peel and drag. What's up, everybody? Jack Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. I am back at South Chickamauga Creek, and we're going to go for a night bite. I was here a few days ago and caught some nice blue catfish. I think I caught five. Biggest was around 20 pounds. Right now our river's blown out. We've had a lot of rain, so I've been fishing this creek. Now the current is not as fast as it was a few days ago. Uh, it's about half of what it was. Regardless, I wanna fish here at night. I've never done that here. Makes me curious to see if the catfish would be active at night during these conditions. We still have high waters, it's muddy, um, not as much of a current though, but we're just gonna give it a whirl and see what we can get. I was able to cast net some shad right here. We're gonna be using pretty good sized chunks. My buddy Phil is gonna be joining me here in a little bit. Now I'm using a different rod and reel this time. I ended up bringing my casting rod with the Akuma Classic XT level wind reel. I use this when I anchor fish from my boat and it does well. It can still cast pretty far. I'm gonna cast this one kind of out in the middle. We don't have debris moving downstream this time, so that's a good thing. What I'm going to do is leave the bait clicker on because it's going to be getting dark in the next half hour, 45 minutes. So if a fish takes it, we'll hear the line go out. I brought two rods. That was quick. Oh, I see him surfaced over there. Good fish. We are hooked up. I don't feel, oh no. He's no, he's, he's coming upstream. Just keep pressure on him. That's the important thing. That's a good fish. What'd you have on the line? Oh, oh, yeah. That's probably close to 15. He's too big for the net. Oh, man. He's bigger than I thought. He's long. There we go. We got him. All right, guys. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. And, guys, I got my pliers this time. <laughs> Did you forget them last time? Yeah. I need to get ready to get slimed a little bit. All right, man, let's release him. You can pretty much just ease him in there and let go. He may clamp on your thumb. There he goes. I had a hard time getting that fish in the net, guys. I didn't bring my big net. Where, um, do you know where Russell parks his boat? Yeah. On the gravel driveway there? Just all the way, just pull all the way to the end. I'll meet you there. This is fresh shad that I was able to cast net about 45 minutes ago. Joe. Fish on, guys. I think we need to put, put this blue gill. Yeah, I agree, but this is a blue. This is fish number two, guys. Now these fish are cruising the creek, feeding. Probably 
probably about the same size as the other one if I had to guess. I don't know, this could be bigger, Phil. Oh yeah, Phil, he's 20, easy. We got one uh, just a little smaller than this guy, maybe about 10, 15 minutes ago. Here, let me get this. He's just so big for the net, I should have brought my bigger one. There we go, we got him. Guys, look at that fish. Uh, he may be 25 pounds. All right, one, two. That's a cool picture with the camera light behind it. We're going to go ahead and release him. Beautiful fish right here, guys. Oh, nice one. There he goes. I got to introduce you guys to Jason here. Jason owns this dock. I appreciate it, man, letting us fish here. If uh, Jason is still around, he's going to get the next fish. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? <laughs> Seriously, I've only, caught a, uh, I've only caught two fish in my life, and I've probably caught one that was a few inches long. That's about it. Okay, yeah, well, you get the next one. If you're still here, you get the next one. We're going to try to get one more fish if we can before we call it in tonight. Guys, this is a big fish. Is he on there? Does he feel like he's on there? I'm not sure, man. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. He's on there. He was peeling drag. He's not mad yet. Oh yeah, he's, he's pissed now. <laughs> Guys, we got a good fish. This one was peeling drag. This one's the biggest one tonight. Yeah, this one is bigger than you know. Are you sure? Well, I don't, I don't, know. don't know. I think he's bigger. He's bigger. He's bigger. <laughs> he does kind of look the same, doesn't he? Oh! No, this one is bigger. bigger. He's bigger. Third fish ever caught? Definitely the biggest. <laughs> look at that fish, guys. That's a tank. Put your hand in the lanyard. All right and grab it there you go and put you yeah, he's mad and put your other hand underneath his belly right here yeah All right. there you go <laughs> let's do a picture here let's go ahead and try to that body. Oh, okay he's slimy <laughs> <All right. laughs> i got my outdoor shirt on it's a nice fish guys Heavy. Jason, how's it feel to catch your biggest fish? That's cool, dude. All right, That's now here's what I need you to do. Right. I need you to put in tail first. All right. Do not let go of those grippers, though. All okay. Right. Oh. Right. He's probably ready now. You can let go. There you go. He just left. Yep. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. Hey, Nux. Cool, man. Guys, this is uh, Jason's dock that we're using. It was awesome to have him catch his personal best catfish, biggest fish of his life. So, wow, what a night, guys, of creek fishing. We're gonna go ahead and call it quits for tonight. All three fish were great quality. This creek has been doing really well. Uh, I fished here a few days ago. The last video that I did was fishing this creek, and I really wanted to do a night bite just to see 
how the action was and it it paid off good guys uh bigger fish this time as always guys give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you later